Hi everyone, this is Theo from ProcoBlocks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to refill the disposable Pilot High Tech Point and the V Pen. This is the Pilot High Tech Point V5 for the 0.5 mm tip. They also have V7 for the 0.7. This is a needle point. This is actually one of my favorite pens. I really love the needle point with this pen. This pen is also known as the Pilot Precise in some places. So this same pen, it can go by different names. It uses liquid ink inside and there's this little see-through part here that allows you to see how much ink is left inside. And this is the Pilot V pen, also known as the Pilot Varsity pen. It uses a nib and the one that I have features a M nib. The trick to refilling these two pens is to pull out this front section here and have that opening so that you can put ink inside. The steps to refilling these two pens are the same so I'm just going to demonstrate using the V pen today. So what's the point of refilling disposable pens like this two? The main reason for me is because I want to use waterproof ink. The ink inside these two pens, they are not waterproof. So when I use watercolor over the lines, the lines would actually dissolve. And I really love the needle point. It's very difficult to find a needle point pen with waterproof ink. So that's why I refill the Pilot High Tech Point. But nowadays, since I've switched over to fountain pens, there's no longer any need to refill pens like this anymore. Because with fountain pens, it's uh, so much easier and convenient to refill it. You don't have to pull this out, you can just dip the fountain pen into the bottle and uh, suck up the ink. Same applies to the high tech point. I have discovered that there is actually a uniball pen that features needle point and this, by the way, features a rollerball, but there's actually a version that features the needle point and the Uniball Vision or the Uniball Eye, they both feature waterproof ink. So with the Uniball pen, with the waterproof ink, I no longer have to have the hassle of refilling pens like this. But if you do want to refill it, I'm going to show you how right now. You will need a pen. You will need a needle and syringe. This, by the way, is a blunt needle. I will put a link in the video description if you want to buy one of this. You need ink as well. You need a set of pliers and some tissue paper. All right, let me put this away. Now, this tissue paper is to protect the nib you can um, use it to wrap around a nib like this. It's very difficult if you do it with the uniball because there is no, I would say, it's very smooth on the uniball, so it's very difficult to pu actually pull it out. Anyway, there's no need to refill the uniball because it's, it has uh, waterproof ink inside. So I'm going to wrap this around the nib here. Make sure you put it around on the nib and make sure it's tight and then use the pliers to hold it and press it down hard start by twisting the pen you can see the pen is moving but the feeder section the feed section is not so try and press it down hard with the pliers and pull it so now uh, the tissue is actually moving because i did not press it down hard enough so let me press it again and try and pull it out. So there it is. Now this section is a bit difficult to pull out without the ink splattering. So I'm just going to twist it slowly. So there it is. There is still some ink left inside. You might want to clean this completely so that the water soluble ink, it doesn't mix with the waterproof ink. So I've went ahead to clean these two parts and now it's time to refill the ink. So I'll be using rotring ink. This is where the needle and syringe will come in handy. Let me just take some ink. 
This needle has one ml capacity, so it should take a few tries to fill this up. Remember, you should not fill up all the way to the top because you still need to put the front section in. So it seems that 2 ml is just the right amount of ink. And let me clean this. Some of the ink got out. And this nib section here, just push it back in. Slowly. If it doesn't go in, you can twist it. Now this plastic part here, this part, this should be within the transparent uh, section here. So I have to push it in further. You can do it with the tissue. I'm going to do it with the tissue so that's easier and I don't damage my nip or hurt myself. If it's difficult, you can twist it slightly, just twist left and right to make sure that it goes all the way in. If you have difficulty pushing the nib back in, you can use the pliers, hold the nib like this and hit it against the table and check every once in a while. In the end, I had to use my pliers because it's very difficult to use my fingers alone to push this in. So when it's in, you can see that this part, it goes all the way in. So this is how it's supposed to look like when it's fixed back. Let me test to see if it works. It should work because I've done this numerous times. I'm trying to use up the water soluble ink that is still inside the system. So before I use watercolor with this pen, I need to use up all the all those water soluble ink. It should take a while to do that. One nice thing about this pen is the ink capacity is quite large, so you don't have to refill it that often. All right, let me use a water brush to see if this is waterproof. And it is waterproof. So for the most part, the road drink ink has already replaced the water soluble ink. So you can use the same method to pull out this section for the pilot high tech point or the pilot precise and refill it with your own ink. I managed to use the pen a few times before it started to clock and I couldn't figure out why it clocked and I wasn't able to remove the clock so I actually have to throw away the pens after refilling it a few times. But Overall, it's uh, quite fun to do, something that you can try it out on your own. So that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, do feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.